Okay, standing, toes forward, feet hip width. Think about your heels directly underneath your knees, underneath your hips, underneath the shoulders. All of that is stacked like a tower. And that makes sense, of course, doesn't it? As far as stacking and, and using the least energy, I suppose, to hold yourself upright in a good posture. So let's soften the knees very slightly. Scoop and tuck your bottom under. Activate some of these muscles around your middle a little bit, keeping the ribs down broadening out through the chest, tucking your chin, lengthening up through the back of the neck. And let's, with the hands down by our sides, just sway forwards and backwards. Good. Scooping in through your tummy, rocking back through your heels. Good. Dropping through the shoulders. Lovely. Let's have our hands on the hips. Take the weight onto the left leg. Squeeze up through the thigh on that left leg. Take your right out to the side. Drawing in through the tummy, trying to keep those hips nice and level. So your hips are level, shoulders down, chest open, chin tucked. And I'm gonna say it again, most importantly, hips nice and level. Pushing that foot straight out to the side. Tensing up through the thigh that you're standing on, using your tummy. Good. Lovely, last one. Take the weight onto the other leg. Squeeze up through the thigh and the glutes. Tuck your bottom under, pushing the other leg out to the side. Good. Always actively trying to push this hip down. We're pushing this hip down and we're pushing the foot straight out to the side. You'll see me slightly leaning over this way. I try to keep myself upright and that's what we've got to do. Try and keep ourselves in as good a position as we can, but not being perfectionists, that you've got to keep yourself absolutely dead straight. Lovely. Take the weight onto your left leg peel up the right in front of you, pulling up the toes and the knee. Down, tense through that thigh and peel up the other one. Good, so we're marching on the spot essentially. We're marching Pilates style. <laughs> Push the foot down, squeeze through the thigh, pick up the other one. Good, keeping yourself as upright as you can and as we're doing it, Opening out through the chest, tucking the chin, lengthening the back of the neck. Good work. Lovely. Feeling the floor through your foot as well. Because that's where you stack everything from. The foot upwards. Brilliant. All right. On the two legs, pulling up onto the toes and back down, squeezing up through your calves, feeling the weight go slightly forwards as you pull up. <sighs> Good. Drawing in through the tummy, tucking your bottom under, dropping through your shoulders, working and using those core muscles. No point in just expecting them to work. Actually squeeze your glutes a little bit, squeeze in through your tummy a little bit. Good. Two more. Brilliant. Bring those heels together. Heels together, toes pointing out. Bend both knees, tuck your bottom under, point your foot out at 45 degrees there. Lift up the arch on the standing leg and rotate your knee outwards. And then lift up that foot. Good. Get used to lifting this leg, keeping the knee locked. And then remember what I just said about the standing leg. Lift up the arch and rotate the knee outwards. Keep yourself nice and level. Good. Very good. And then just the ankle. Point and flex at the ankle. Rotate the knee out. Scoop in your tummy. Take the weight onto that leg, 
stretch the other leg out, squeeze through the thigh and lift and down. Good. Think about that standing leg, lifting up the arch, rotating your knee out, scooping in your tummy. Good, and then just the ankle. Try and go as far as you can with that ankle, point and flex, point and flex. Draw in your tummy, drop your shoulders, chest open. Lovely. Come back in. Give your legs a little shake. All right. Standing sideways on the mat. One leg forwards, the other leg back. Tuck your bottom under, pull up tall, drop your shoulders, high on that back toe, remember? And then back knee heading to the floor. One. Pushing down to the floor and coming back up. Two. Keep yourself upright. Three. Squeeze. Four. Five. Six, well done. Seven, eight, two more. Ten. Lovely. Come to the front like that, toes pointing out, and then swivel round to the other side. Pulling up tall on that back toe, and off we go. One, two, three, good. Head down to the floor with the knee. Four, Five, pull up high on the back heel. Seven, eight, two more. Ten. Brilliant. Come to the middle. You've got your toes out, your knees out. Tailbone heading down towards the floor. Scooping in through here, chest nice and open, hands on your hips. Push your knees out as you squat down and up. Two. Three, four, five, keep going, tailbone heading straight down, six, knees heading straight out, seven, eight, nine, ten, stay down, lift alternate heels, three, four, scoop, scoop in here, chest open, chin tucked, breathe. I think that's 20. Oh my gosh, come back up again. Slightly burny thighs there. Come in with the toes, heels, toes again, and give the legs a little shake there. Brilliant. All right, let's do a little bit of arms, I think. So hands facing in, palms facing in. Let's come straight to the front, up above the head, to the front and back down, okay? <sighs> Drop the shoulders, forwards, up, forwards, down. Okay, so we're thinking about using those shoulder blade muscles. First of all, bend the knee slightly, tuck under. Good. Four. Five. Good. Seven. Eight. Two more. Mm -hmm. Stay at the top, pulse in and out, like that. Drop the ribs down at the front, scoop in your tummy, straighten and lock your elbows straight. Good, staying there with the palms together, keep that palm pointing outwards and the arms coming down and back up. Work out what you have to do with the rest of the body to keep it nice and still. Again, I feel like I'm doing those arm signals. I can't remember what it's called. The flex. <sighs> Other side, palms facing out. Two, three. Keep sweeping in your tummy, weight back through your heels. Good. 
palms forwards all the way back down. Now that really does make those arms feel like they've been working, which is fantastic. Stand on the end of your mat. Nice deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, tucking your chin and curling all the way down. Arms hanging heavy, let those shoulders stretch. Tuck um, or relax the head, don't necessarily tuck the chin, relax the head. Feel the, um, the weight of the head drawing down. Bend and straighten alternate knees. Just in a relaxed way, the back allows to rotate slightly. You let your shoulders hang, everything nice and heavy, using everything as a kind of counterweight to stretch down through the backs of the legs there. Good, coming forwards onto your hands and knees. Lovely. Just a few wrist stretches while we're here. Forwards and backwards, over the wrists and back. Good. Keep working through your middle. This is a great place to actually work through those deep abdominals there. You just think about drawing and lifting, lifting up through the tummy, around the belly button and lower. And you're going against gravity, which is a nice um, reason why it's a, a good way of working those deep abdominals. Good. Okay. Take the weight onto your right arm. Stretch your left arm up to the front and pulse up and down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come in, out to the side. And off we go. Nine, ten, come in and behind. Ten, eight, and then the other side. Stretch forwards and up and pulse up and down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, come down, side. Behind. Good. We'll do some press ups here. I tend to, while I'm teaching Pilates, have my knees underneath hips and do those box press ups. But your half press ups are here and your full ones obviously are up. But I do like with Pilates to really concentrate on getting the full range of movement, which is nice every so often. So let's do 10 all the way down and push back up. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Lovely. Coming down onto the elbows. Good. We're going to slide the right leg back, lift, down, in, and then sideways. And then we swap legs. Left leg back, lift, down, in, and side. Try and lift that leg as far as you can without the hips twisting. And side. Good. Keep going. Back, lift, down, in, sideways. Good. endurance one this one because you're doing lots of movements through those hips good one more each side side good nice all right sit back onto the heels but not all of the way so don't let the hands slide towards you and your bottom go right down we're going to be here I think it's called extended child pose so you are a little bit further forwards with your hands and you push your shoulders down, your bottom goes straight up into the air. Good. <laughs> kind of a little bit halfway in between a, a downward dog and a child pose.
Good, and then drop your hips down at the front. And we're going to do some, um, some push-ups, push I suppose. Pushing and straightening the elbows, and then come back down, squeezing a little bit through your tummy. Pushing up, good. Good, good on the arms as well as stretching the lower back. Seven, squeeze your glutes a little bit. Eight, nine, ten. Lovely, let's come down onto our fronts. Tuck through your chin, arms down by your sides. I want you to lift up the shoulders, then the hands. Hands down, shoulders down, bottom tucked under, chin tucked. Two. Three, four, five, six, good. Eight, nine, ten. Keep those hands up, stretch your fingertips down towards your toes and pulse up and down. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your bottom under, forehead tucked as well. Turn the palms in and circle outwards. And then circle in. Lovely, bring your arms around, making a pillow for your forehead. And then we're going to do these hamstring exercises where you point down, flex, Point and lower, other leg. Point, flex, point and down. The whole time your bottom is tucked under. Point, flex, point and down. Point, flex, point and down. Really great for anyone suffering with sciatica, pain down through the back of the leg. Good. Or if you have weak or tight hamstrings, this is really good for as well. Good. Good for knee pain. It may feel like you're not doing very much, but you are coordinating the muscles of the lower leg here, which is really good and effective. Yes, a little stretch through the quad as well. Lovely. All right. Let's just come around onto our backs here. So, tucking through the chin, lengthen up through the back of the neck, broaden out through the chest. Take a breath in, a breath out and sink your ribs down. Rock back and forth with that pelvis a few times and settle in between. That should be with that little arch in the lower back. For some people it's a bit flatter than for others, but mess around with that a little bit and find where your good place is. You know where your good place is because you feel like you can tighten through your deep abdominals. We access them through your pelvic floor, remember. So tighten through the pelvic floor, everything nicely in position, and then lift and lower, or turn the legs. Tabletop and down. Push your foot down into the floor, ribs down, chest open, chin tucked. And breathe. Gently push one foot down into the floor and pick up the other one. Lovely. And then taking one knee sideways and back up. And the other leg sideways. Don't let those hips rock. Keep them pointing forwards. Great, keep your chest open, chin tucked, shoulders down away from the ears. Lovely, take the weight onto the left leg. I mean, it's not weight really, it's just the weight of the leg, I suppose, but push down gently through the left leg. Your right leg should come up to tabletop, out, in, down, and then the other leg, tabletop, out, in, down, keep going. In through your nose, 
out through your mouth. Lovely. Good stuff. One more each leg. Lovely, hands behind your head, elbows wide. We're going to crunch and down. Remember with these crunches, you're not pushing your lower back down to the floor. You're doing the opposite almost. As you draw into the arch and draw into the crunch, you have, should have this closing feeling around the middle of you. Two more. Lovely. And then we're going to bring up the left leg like that and we're going to crunch over to the left. So the elbow is kind of coming towards the knee but I'm not obsessed with getting that there. I want you to rotate the chest. I need the chest to feel like it's coming around to the side. Four. Ten. Try and relax the neck and lengthen up through the back of the neck of the leg up there. I know it's a little bit necky. Two more. Very nice. Oh, come down, relax the head, roll your head from side to side like so. Good. Okay. Right leg up to tabletop. Scoop in. Pick up the left. Right down. Left down. Good. Up. Up. Down. Down. With that seamless lower tummy. Drawing in. Not letting it push outwards when you pick up that second leg. Up. Up. Down. Down. Good. Keep going. Chest open. Chin tucked. Breathing nice and relaxed. If you can continue to breathe into your ribs here whilst staying nice and strong and dealing with all of this movement through that lower half, then you're doing a good job. Good, now swap legs, other leg up first. Up, up, down, down. Good. Think about an inwards tension to scoop in and stabilize around that middle. And breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. It gets quite tiring, of course. One more. Then let's draw the knees and the toes together, hands on your ribs, elbows pointing out to the side. Pick up the hip and roll over, and then pull back to the center. And roll over to the other side. Good, if you've not got enough room, make sure you do. Pick up the hip and the foot, pushing over, but the ribs are down. I'm actually using this hand a little bit to push and hold my ribs in position. with this top leg, push away with the hip, away with the knee, and then you'll get a bit more of a stretch and an activation as well. One more each side. Good, I enjoyed those today. Obviously my back feels a little bit tight and needed that little bit of a stretch. <laughs> Good, let's bring the legs up to tabletop and we're stretching one out at a time. Push out and pull back in, push out and pull back in. Good. Keep scooping in through your tummy, tuck the chin, chest open. That always changes the exercise for me. I don't know whether it does for anybody else, but as soon as I focus on chest open, chin tucked, suddenly feels so much stronger to do the exercise. Good. In through your nose, out through your mouth. One more 
by each leg. Lovely. And come back down. Brilliant. Ah, good stuff. Let's just rock the pelvis back and forth a few times. Feel your head sliding up and down the mat there. And that's what we want to utilise on our shoulder bridges. So, you tuck under, flatten your back, and then peeling all the way up, all the way to the top. Take the weight onto that left leg, straighten out your right. Come down, push down into it, straighten out the left. If you struggle with these, we're going to keep going by the way, so if you struggle with these, do one leg, the other leg, and down. Make sure you're using your elbows down on the floor if you find it particularly hard. If you find it particularly easy, cross your hands across your chest or up in front of you alternatively. Good, so pick any of those. And push the elbows down into the floor if you particularly find it hard. Good, one more each leg. Lovely, and curl back down. Good, let's do a couple of those pelvic tilts again to maybe ease off any tension that might have built as you were doing that. Good. Tucking under, curling up. We're going to do the same thing, but more with a bent knee. Okay? Two. Three. Four. Good, scooping in, tucking under. Six, push down into the foot each time. And like I say, push your elbows down onto the floor to stabilize. Good, let's do four more. Three, four, brilliant, and curl back down. Good, pull those knees into your chest and just roll them from side to side a little. Just to ease off any tension in the lower back. Good work. Let's bring hands behind your head, come into a crunch, bring the legs up to tabletop, stretch out the right and rotate to the left. Good, keep going. Three, oh, click, four. Let's try and get 20 of these out. Scooping in, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another ten, one. You could just do the top half or just do the bottom half if you're starting to struggle. over onto your side to get some glutes in before we finish. Bottom hip back, ribs back, scoop your bottom under, push the top shoulder away from you, push the top hip away. Can you see that movement that I do there? That push away of the hip and creating that little gap underneath your waist there. Scoop and tuck your bottom, uh, bottom under, tummy in, lift the top knee. I think I was about to repeat it all then, lifting that top knee. Make sure you keep breathing. Lovely. Both feet up to hip height and continue lifting that knee. Shoulders relax. Little gap underneath your waist there still, even though your feet are up. That makes it difficult, doesn't it? It makes you want to flatten that gap underneath the waist. Good. Bring that bottom leg down. Bring the uh, top leg in front, straighten back, and then in line with the body. So we're in line, and then the knee comes in front of the hip. Straighten bend and back, okay? Oh, click, very clicky today. We've got 
couple more of these. Ten. And let's push that leg out straight, pull the toes up and pulse, really squeezing through those glutes and pulsing up and down and pushing the leg away from you, trying to elongate and stretch that leg away. Scooping in here. Three, two, one. Stop there. Other side. Head propped in your hand. Tuck your bottom hip back, tuck the ribs back, scoop your bottom under, push the top hip away, good. And then starting just with the normal fresh ones, just lifting that knee, creating that little gap underneath your waist, by the way, by pushing that top hip away. Very nice, bring those feet up to hip height and go again. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Lovely. Bottom leg down, so remember we're coming in front with the knee in front of the hip. Straighten, bend, and back. <laughs> Forward, straighten, bend. In line with the body, good. Well done, keep going. <laughs> more. Last one. Brilliant. And bring it down. Oh, we stretched out, didn't we? Pull the toes up, elongate and try and stretch away with that leg and pulse up and down. Keep strong through here. Last time. Brilliant. Coming back up. Cross the legs. And pull up tall. It's the first thing you need to do. Pulling up tall. Stretching up through the back of the neck. Drop down through the shoulders. We're stretching through the glutes just by being in this position, if you're anything like me. And then I want you to take your head over to the side with that right arm. Relax through the shoulder. Good. Another 10 seconds. You've got to relax through the head, take the head over to the side, but also use this hand to bring the head over to the side, but with a fairly relaxed arm still. It's quite hard to do all of that. Good. And then coming over to the other side. Relax this arm down and take the head over. Make sure your eyes are pointing forwards. Another 10 seconds. Enforced stretching here. Good. If your neck does feel stiff and tight, then those are ones to do regularly. Push your arms forwards, rotate. Pulling up tall at the same time, drop the shoulders and push your hands away. You may not be comfortable in this position. I will allow you to come out of it. Either sit on the chair or sit on your heels or kneel up. Lovely. And I will change the position now. So bring one leg round. We are in a mermaid position. Your left hand's on the floor. Your elbow comes down to the floor and you stretch over. And then come back up. Good. So this elbow does come down to the floor. Two more. 
nice one. Lovely. Swing your legs around to the other side. Good. Make sure this hip tries to come down to the floor. It doesn't matter if it's not um, touching the floor, um, but try and bring it down as far as you can and then try and hold it in position. And then we're going over to the other side. Remember the elbow comes down. One. legs out into a V. Arms out, we're stretching forwards and across. Don't judge yourself on how far you can go. You can go as far as you can go. Just by doing it, you are helping your flexibility. Side, always. Side. One more each side. Lovely. All right, coming up, toes tucked under, stretch your bottom up. Drop your shoulders down to your, your feet. Think about your armpits going towards your toes. Bend one knee, straighten the other. Breathe in, breathe out and sink down into that heel. Swap sides, breathe in, breathe out and sink down into the heel. And then both at the same time. And walk your hands to your feet. Relax your head, relax your arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Bend and straighten each knee like that, just a, in a sort of wobbly sort of way. And curl your way back up. Good, good. Lift, roll down with your shoulders a couple of times. Good. A couple more. Lovely, and reset your posture. Feet hip width apart, bend your knees, tuck your bottom under, chest open, chin tucked. Nice deep breath in, breath out. Lovely. Good stuff. Well done.